Hello YouTube, this is a toy review on Dragon Ball Super 66mm Bluefin action figures. Now these were found at Hot Topic uh, for $8.99 or $8.90, so not bad. Um, these figures are pretty cool. Um, can't really find a Goku Black figure anywhere, but you can definitely find him in the 2.6 inch line um, for the price point it's these figures are like superb uh, let's take trunks for instance trunks he comes with three different sets of hands let me just see if we can set them up here um, so he has the closed fisted hands he has the sword gripping hand and he also comes with open hands and these figures also come with a hand base so you can store your hands so that way you don't lose them and these figures for the size they're very articulated his head can rotate side to side you can slightly tilt his head as well his arm comes all the way up he has a bicep swivel single bend at the elbow which is greater than 90 degrees and he has a swivel at the wrist um, he also has a waist swivel and you can bring his leg up that high single bend at the knee at greater than 90 degrees and his ankle is a ball joint so he is able to have ankle pivot um, his sword can also come out of the sheath and he comes with an extra sword let me just put it on him real quick to where he can also hold the sword as well so he's pretty cool and the detail on him is great because he has the same clothes that he has on super with the uh, what is that like a bandana handkerchief on his neck so very accurate and the paint apps is phenomenal there's no paint missing on this figure at all I'll just put it to the side right here see if I can have a these figures are kind of hard to stand because they're so small. Okay, I don't care. Alright, we'll just leave them to the side. Uh, next up we can look at is Vegeta. I'm not going to go through articulation because they're all about the same. But I will give you a 360 view. All the paint is there. It's pretty cool looking. And he also comes with three sets of hands. So he has a closed fisted that you see on him. He has the final flash hands and the open fireball hands. And you can get him into any pose you want. Let's see if he focuses. There we go. Okay. Set him off to the side. Let's try to get him to stand again. Alright. Can I get him to stand? Why? Okay, there we go. Follow the sun off to the right. Okay. Next is Goku. Goku also looks awesome. Good focus, there we go. A quick 360. So all these figures have the exact same articulations. Um, Goku comes with three sets of hands as well. He has the closed fisted, he has the Kamehameha hands, and the fireball hands. And you can pose him to do the Kamehameha. Uh, let me do that real quick for you guys. 
Um, I had a lot of fun playing with these guys, as small as they are. I, had, I think I had a lot more fun playing with these 2 inch line than with the SH figure arts. It's just so amazing how small they are and how many poses you're able to get them into. So, let's see, I have it right here. So he's in his Kamehameha pose. Let's just stand. There we go. It's pretty cool. Alright. Let's set him off to the side and last but not least we have Goku Black and this guy is just as cool as Trunks reason why is because the detail I don't know if you can see but on him you can pose him as the same pose as he did in the episode when he first goes Rosé he kind of shows his time ring and they have his time ring on his fingers get that to focus Focus. Look, there we go. It's pretty freaking awesome. I'm gonna give it 360. There goes and the cool thing about him is he all his sets of hands comes with the time ring. So you have a closed fisted time ring hand, you have an open hand time ring. And then you have like a martial arts or finger pointing time ring hand. Would have been cool if they gave Goku instant transmission fingers or the Shunkaido. Um, but yeah, another thing that I also thought was cool. Because Goku Black and Son Goku, they both have the same mode as far as it goes for the head. So I wanted to see Goku go Rose. Oh crap, hold up. Let's change the heads out real quick. So, Son Goku goes Rose. Right there. And then have Goku Black go Super Saiyan Blue. And yeah, it works. It's pretty freaking cool that you can swap it like that. Or I can put Vegeta in Goku's clothes or... Oh no, whatever. Goku Black in trunks clothes. So these action figures are very swappable. You can pull them apart at any part of their body and you can body swap. So I can give Goku Black with some Goku pants. Uh, make them like Xenoverse type characters. Okay, whatever. Um, Let's have him stand up. Yeah. Oh. Looks kind of weird. But yeah. Um, get these guys to go back into their proper. So yeah, not bad for, let's just say, $9 a figure. You really get your money's worth. Um, as far as articulation goes, paint app goes. Uh, they're very... They're very fun to play with and pose around and they're very highly detailed. Japan is always good with um, being able to make sure you get your money's worth even if it's something cheap you still get a very articulated and a very well painted figure for the money that you spend. So yeah, uh, first time collecting this line they do have another uh, first edition line where they had the Super Saiyan Goku, Super Saiyan Gohan, and Vegeta in Trunks. And this is the second wave, I believe. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoy, enjoy this review. And if you like this video, click like. Uh, if not, I don't care. But yeah, thanks for watching, and you guys have a good day.